Hey, what's happening, guys? If you remember about a month or two ago, we made a video where we did a capacitor learning board. And it uh, worked out pretty well. But after I thought about it, I thought, maybe there's a way we could improve it. You see, in the original board, we had our uh, power supply and the button going to this cap select and then uh, to the LED. I thought, well, what if we put in some different ranges of resistors so we can mix and match resistors and capacitors and you know that gives the people who are trying to use this to learn some more opportunities to try and calculate you know and figure out what the RC time constant is going to be for this so that's what we're doing all right here's a look at the uh, PC layouts really simple Remember our five volts coming in we've got our LEDs we have our capacitors we have our resistors then we have some jumpers to select and a button to test if I did it right it should end up looking like this, except these will be males instead of female connectors. That's it. So I'm going to order these Gerbers, send them off to PCB way, and in a week or so, we should have some boards. Ordering your PC boards from PCB way is super simple. Come up here, click on PCB instant quote, quick order. Add your Gerber files. Let's see, learn electronics flasher kit. Shows you a picture of them so you know you got what you wanted. And we're going to do 20 of them this time black, white, tick. Then you can choose your shipping over here. it at express shipping express shipping 24 hours choose your country choose who you want it to ship by you can see the prices here couldn't be easier and I'd like to thank PCV way for being the major sponsor of this channel and helping me to bring you guys these videos all right so our boards are back and they look pretty doggone good So, let's put everything together. All right, hopefully I found everything we need. It took me forever to find these. And the thing was, I'd gone through that drawer twice and didn't see them. So either I'm getting less absorbent or, I don't know. I didn't see them. So that is our power input. I made this, you know, like I said, I'm going to give these to the school. So I'll give them some wall warts too. That way they don't have to worry about what the kids are using for power. And they'll know we have the right voltages and currents and all that kind of good stuff. pretty good we got lucky tonight it's Sunday night August what, 20 something 20, 22nd yeah August 22nd so this video is for tomorrow and I would usually have it done by now and uploaded but, uh, you know, if you guys know, I had surgery Monday, and things have been going slowly. All right, next up is the LED. Let's do that one. So I'm sure you guys notice that the design of this board is a little bit different than what we went through at the beginning of the video. I just redesigned it to try and, I don't know, make it look neater. But the circuit's the same. I just move things around a little bit. All right, how about a green LED? I don't know why I like green LEDs so much, but I do. Football season is almost upon us. No, American football season. 
I have no clue when what the rest of the world calls football goes on. I've got Steeler tickets for one game this year. And my big hope is that we don't get coveted out of the game. I paid a fortune for them. Steelers tickets are some of the most expensive tickets around. I don't know why. I guess it's just big fan base. Capacitors, 100 microfarad. There we go. There's 100. We want to make sure we put them in polarity correct. Then we have 470. That's a thousand. We'll need one of them, so I'll hang on to it. There we go, 470. And legs are all bent up. And our 1000. Let's get those guys soldered in next. I'm going to solder one leg of each one first. Then we'll check to make sure they're sitting properly. And we'll come back and we'll get the other one. Those actually aren't too bad. I got lucky. I didn't do it on purpose. I just kind of stuck them in there. Again, sorry for the noise in the background. It's the solder sucker going. And whatever just fell off my shelf. <laughs> Alright, resistor time. There is 100K. Come on. Now I need a 10K. 10k. And just for Barry, I'm going to put them all in in the same orientation. Oh, that's the 1k spot. Pay attention, Paul. Attention to detail. Situational awareness. All right, now I got to find a 1k. All right, there's the last one. Unfortunately, it doesn't match the others, but it'll work. Let's get them soldered in there. So this Thursday, I've got tickets to go see KISS. That's going to be fun on my crutches, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's supposedly their last show. And I'm really disappointed because David Lee Roth was supposed to open up for him, but they fired old Diamond Dave. To which he responded to them on Instagram with 18 middle fingers. <laughs> I love David Lee Roth. You know, Gene Simmons says he, uh, he's just too much of a character. Well, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black... Gene would sell his kids if he could make a profit. That's why I don't really believe this will be Kiss's last tour. Yeah, Gene and Paul might retire, but uh, probably just hire somebody else to fill the spots, right? All right, so now we need our, our jumpers so that we can make things work. And sticking with the uh, green theme, we'll go with green jumpers. And these are Doro. Jumpers, we're going to need two sets of three, a one, a two, a three. 
That's what the wise old Al said in the old Tootsie Roll Pop commercials. Ow! Son of a... Pardon my outburst, I threw a jumper into my finger. them on there and get them soldered in next we are just about done for this video I've got to make four more like I said these are going to the high school to their stem lab because uh, the teacher here one of my son's favorite teachers and he's told me he has a very limited budget for buying stem stuff couple hundred bucks is all the school system gives them. Yeah, go ahead and teach them, but no budget. So we're going to hook them up best we can. I realize most of it's homemade stuff, but you know what? It serves a very specific purpose. And finally, the switch. This is a 6 by 6 by 12 and I know somebody's going to say, why are you using one so big? Because I got a lot of them. And in this case, it doesn't matter. So we we'll use these ones. And I think we're done. Let's go find a couple jumpers. All right, well, there's our original board. Let me plug it in. Select our capacitor, and there's our light lights, and then when let go, it goes out. So, pretty simple. Let's try the new board. So we have selected uh, 10K and 100 microfarad. Good. Let's go 100K. And we'll select the biggest capacitor. Looks good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. And, of course, big thanks to PCB Way. So these will be going to the school pretty soon. I'll see you guys next time. That's it. I'm out. Peace.